the name of Jesus this morning. Put something into the program. I'm sure we're going to get something out of the program. Amen. Going to get something out of it. Just, just to put your whole heart and mind and soul in it. Amen. Guide me over, great Jehovah. Pick them through this barren land. Guide me over. Oh, great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. God, me over. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Lord, to help us learn to forgive one another, Father. Yes, God. sir. We ask you, Lord, to indwell with your Holy Spirit. Thank Lord, you, God, Jesus. So we can walk with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, Lord, yeah. Lord, you there with me, mm-hmm. Father. We thank you, Lord, oh, for yes. our pastor. Yes, our sir. Lady. Thank you, Jesus. Father, God. We ask you to strengthen them, Father, God. We ask you to build them up, Father, God. Yeah, Lord. Down, Father, God. We ask you to help us to learn to encourage one another, Father, God. Yes, sir. Not bring each other down, Father, God. Mm-hmm. Father, God, we just ask you, Lord, to continue, Lord, to walk with us, Father, God. And continue to hold onto our hands, Father, God. Yes. And we ask you, Lord, just to hold us, Father, God. We're living in troubling times. Oh, yes, We're yes. Thank time, you. Father, God. Oh, yeah. And there's Hallelujah. no way Thank you. to you, Lord, God. Mm-hmm. Father, yes, Lord, Lord, yes. Oh, yes. Because all our all help. Our help. Lord, we know, Lord, you stand high and you look low. Yes, Lord. You know all about us. So you know what we stand in need of. Yes, Lord, sir. And Father, we thank you for the many blessings you've always bestowed on us. Yes, sir. We thank you even more for the ones who are getting mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. It's always going to be remiss, but now thank you for your son, Jesus. Christ. Yes, sir. Ain't that old rugged cross? Yes, Father Lord. God. Laying down his life for our sins. Thank you, Father Jesus. Father God, we thank you more that you got the third day morning. Oh, yes, yes, Lord. Thank you. And Father God, he came mm-hmm. like the road map, Father yes. God. And we ask you, Lord, that's to strengthen us. Yes, Lord. And guide us so that we can follow that map that God has laid out for us. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? Well, don't you want to go to that land? Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? Well, and don't you want to go to that land where I'm bound? Where I'm bound? Don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? Well, and don't you want to go to that land where I'm bound? Nothing but joy. In that land, nothing but joy. In that land, well, and nothing but joy. In that land, where I'm bound, where I'm bound, nothing but joy. In that land, nothing but joy. In that land, nothing but joy. In that land. Where I'm bound, will I have a savior in that land? I have a savior in that land, and I got a savior in that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound, and I've got a savior in that land. I got a savior in that land. And I got a savior in that land where I'm bound. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Which art in heaven. Yeah, Lord. Hallowed be mm-hmm. thy holy name. Yeah, Jesus. Father, let your will be done on earth yes, sir. as it is in heaven. Yeah. Give us this day, Give us this day our daily bread. Mm-hmm. And forgive us for our debts yes, as we forgive our debtors. Yes. Father, lead us. Lead us not into temptation, mm-hmm. but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Yes, Lord. Most gracious and forgiving God, yes, it's sir. once more again a few of your humble servants are gathered together in your name. 
Yeah. I come this morning, Father God, call upon the name of Jesus who got all power in his hands. The father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, and the yeah, father Lord. of Jacob. Yeah, yeah, we come yeah, this yeah. morning, Father God, call upon mm-hmm. your name because say, if we need you, oh, call yeah. you. We ask you, dear Father, let your Holy Spirit dwell within our hearts so we can live to do your holy will. And help us to fight the wiles of Satan that can so easily besiege us. We ask you to give us wisdom, dear Father. Yeah, yeah, give us Lord. knowledge and give us the understanding yes, to know the difference. When we study your word, dear Father, yes, help us Lord. to come comprehend your word the way you will have us to well, understand yeah. the word of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not what man said, but what does say the Lord. Yes, sir. Father God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Continue Lord. Continue to the sick and shut in our community all over this land and country. Bless, save, heal, and deliver everywhere. Hear the prayers of ye, your people, who's call upon your name. Because somebody calling on you right now say, I need thee, oh Lord, I need thee. Please have mercy upon me, dear yes, Father. Sir, yeah. Bless, save, heal, well, and yeah. deliver everywhere. Most of all, Father God, search our hearts. You find anything that's not right. Move it out and strengthen us to do yeah, your yes, will. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. do what thus yeah. said the Lord. Yes, Jesus. We give you all the praises because you're worthy to be praised. In the mighty name of your son, mighty Jesus name. Christ, we pray. Amen. And thank God. Let it be real. Let it be real. Let it be real. Let it be real. Everything you do for Jesus, let it be real. Let it be real. Oh, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real. Everything you do for Jesus, let it be real, let it be real. Oh, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real. Everything you do for Jesus, let it be real, let it be real. One of these old mornings won't be long. You look for me and I'll be gone. I'm going on to heaven to sing and shout. I be nobody there to turn me out. Everything you do for Jesus, let it be real, let it be real. Oh, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real, let it be real. Everything you do for Jesus, let it be real. Oh, let it be real, let it be real. Let it be real, let it be real. Everything do for Jesus, let it be real, let it be real. Amen, amen, amen. This is our devotion service. Amen. I'm trying to put the service in the hands of the choir. Amen.
You cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. You sacrificed your life so I can be, so I can be free, so I can be, so be whole, so I can tell everyone I know. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life so I can be free. So I can be whole, so I can tell everyone I know. You thought I was worth saving, so you came. You came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping, so you cleaned me up. You cleaned me up inside. You thought I was you sacrifice your life so I can be be free, so I can be be whole, so I can can tell everyone I
What a mighty God we serve. He's not just good sometimes, but he's good all the time. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a hallelujah again? What about a thank you, Jesus? Repent of your sins and be baptized. 
that's 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 my goal, amen. That's my goal. I plan. I plan to go to heaven. How about you? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forgive me when I'm feeling pretty good and I just want to, I need to just, just say what's on my heart and, what, and on my mind sometimes. Amen. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory to God. Be pleased to ask it. Chapter 3. Amen. Please ask it. Chapter 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A familiar passage. Should be a familiar passage for everyone. Glory to his name. He's a good God. Amen. 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 To everything, there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to plug up with this planet. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Drop down to verse 14. I know that whatsoever God do it, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God do it, and that man should fear before him. That which had been is now, and that which was to be had already been. And God required that which is past. Amen. The word of God for people of God. Amen. 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 Thank you. Minister. Weldon, for the scripture. How many know that uh, we need the word? Amen. We may think we don't need it, but my sisters and brothers, we do. Because that's the only thing that's going to keep us. That's our roadmap and that's our instruction manual. To lead us along the way. I'm going to open up the altar at this time. If anyone needs prayer. Or if you want to stand in the gap for someone else. Because there's so much going on. We all are dealing with some kind of issues or problem. Amen? As y'all know, last week, last Saturday, I just buried my sister. And then I got a phone call this Saturday. My niece is in ICU. She had a terrible terrible accident and I said Lord I'm just so grateful that she's still around because y'all I could be getting ready to go to another one amen, amen. but God she's 19 years old and she hit a tire or something on the turnpike Y'all know how fast those cars be going. And she lost control. But God. And see, I know a lot of people may not understand or feel I shouldn't praise God, but I got a lot to praise God for. And as long as I'm able to praise him, I'm going to praise him because you don't know like I know. 
what the Lord has done for me and what he's still doing for me. So if you have a problem and you want to come down, come on down and give it to the Lord. He's still in the healing business. He's still delivering. And he's still setting the captive free. Amen? Mm. He's still doing it. And God could do it without us asking him, but he wants us to ask him. To let him know that we are depending and trusting on him and that he's God. Because if God can't do it, it cannot be done. Amen. So the pastor is going to come. If you want to stand in your seat, feel free. But we all need prayer. And we need to pray one for another. Amen. My arm, oh, cry, oh, wow, on others thou art calling, oh, master, do not pass. Me by. Oh, let me at the throne of mercy. Oh, Lord, how oh, sweet relief. Kneeling there in deep contrition, oh Lord, help my arms of unbelief. Oh Lord, Here's what I want you to do. Give my humble, humble pride. Fall on the other. Thy heart calling. Savior, do, do not pass me by call in your savior please savior here's what i want you to do for me hear my humble oh why why Oh, calling Savior. Father, in the name of Jesus. Once again, we've gathered ourselves in the house of worship to give your name praise, glory, and honor. I read what you said, enter into your gates with thanksgiving and to your courts with praise. You said, be thankful unto you and bless your name for your good and your mercy is everlasting and your truth endure through all generations. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come with our heads bowed but our hearts are lifted 
We come with an adoration of praise and a gratitude of thank you, Jesus. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Thank you for food on our table. Thank you for clothes on our back. Thank you for shelter over our head. Thank you for grace and for your mercy. Now, God, somebody needs a touch in this place this morning. Somebody needs a touch in their soul. Somebody needs a touch in their spirit. Somebody needs energy to get through the day. Now, God, in the name of Jesus, come in the room right now. Move by your spirit. Touch from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. Touch, heal, and then deliver in the name of Jesus. Move by your spirit. Look upon our children that's freshly back in school. Look upon the teachers that got to deal with the attitudes and the dispositions and the parents, God. Look upon the everyone that is in need of a touch in their body today. Move by your spirit. With the viruses breaking out again, RSV is in rampant in our country. God, cover us with your blood. Cover us with your blood. God, put a veil around us. Protect us from all hurt, harm, and danger. In the name of Jesus. Then God, we be so grateful and gracious to give your name praise because it is you that made us and not we ourselves. We glorify you and we magnify you for your goodness and for your mercy. Into that hand now, we commend our spirit. Have your perfect way in Jesus' name. And the body of Christ says, Amen.
I'm a fool to you. you for everything you do. For everything you do. For everything you do for me. For everything you do for me. Lord, you deserve. Lord, you deserve. Lord, you deserve. If I had a thousand tones, Lord, I couldn't thank you enough for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way. You did it. 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 Lord, you deserve it. Lord, you deserve it. Yeah, yeah. Lord, you deserve it. told pastor before church I had, a, had him to pray for me because I got people every day calling want me to pray for them pray with them and I'm tired <laughs> the strong need strengthening sometimes told my mama, I said, Mama, I don't know why people think God hears my prayers, but whatever he tell me to do, I do it. So y'all keep me in your prayers. My baby is sick. He's got COVID, but it's going to be all right. He's, it's going to be all right. <laughs> but y'all just keep us in your prayers Amen. today at Galilee um, they invite us to be at their annual men's day program at 3 o'clock their theme this year is men looking up to Jesus I think Deacon Daniel Washington is speaking today Amen. Eastview Mail Course 20th anniversary, get on up. Let's get back to where we belong. Better days are coming. Saturday, August the 19th at 3 o'clock, Eastview Baptist Church. We have so much to give 
the Lord our God thanks for over the many years here at Eastview Baptist Church. EVMC is delighted to extend an invitation to their 20th anniversary and are looking forward to you coming out and rendering an A and B selection, solo or praise dancing with us as we lift our voices and giving thanks and praises to the Lord our God. If it is God's will, the EV, the male chorus is looking forward to seeing you. Please feel free to contact our manager, Sister Barbara Lowe. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Hebrews 10, 24 through 25. Where's Grove Baptist Church? Homecoming, August the 20th at 2 p.m. The guest is Pastor Elder Tony Davis and Glad Tidings Church of God. Then August the 21st through the 25th, they will have the revival at 7 p.m. each night. The speaker will be Reverend Raymond Arnold. Don't forget to turn in your recipes to Sister Claire Gaines for the um, scholarship committee's um recipe book i forgot mine but i'm gonna get it to her she needs some recipes if you missed revival this past week you missed a blessing i made it two nights and both nights i was blessed oh let's see i got a stack up here our Brotherhood's uh, car and truck show will be this coming up Saturday. We're going to start at 8 o'clock. They're going to fry fish. Y'all come on out. Open Arms Ministry. And on September 4th, they're going to begin their calendar fundraiser where you pick a date of the month of September and you pay that amount. They're gearing up for their... Um, Open arm shin, shindig, which will be in December. Wear your best Western gear. An award is going to the best dressed male and female. That's going to be Friday, December the 15th. You put it on Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Friday, December the 15th at the Nathan Dean Community Center in Rockmart from 6 to 9. $10 admission, music and line dances, free food and drinks. Don't forget that Pastor Houston started the prayer call line yesterday. The phone number for that is 848-220-3100. ID number is 279-0507. We will have an organizational meeting for the Bobble Bowl teams on the fourth Sunday after church. Right now we have three teams, the children, teens, and young adults. If you are willing to participate or help in any way, please come to the meeting. We need your input and support. Thank you, Sister McDermott, Sister Tally, and Sister Wellington. And next Sunday after church, we're going to have a fish fry. We'll have plates for the Brotherhood extending their um, fundraiser. Bring your appetite in your pocketbook. Um, I'd like to ask on behalf of the trustees, y'all see it's hot in here. Our air conditioners need some work. That costs money. Amen. Costs a lot of money. Please go back to giving on First Sundays um, to our building fund. If you miss First Sunday, give on another Sunday. $10 a month, please. And the trustees will have their um, monthly meeting on August the 28th at 6 o'clock. Any other announcements that I ha have I missed? Dinner at 2. Service starts at 3. Any more?
Those Yellow Jackets is coming over to Cedartown this Friday night, in case y'all didn't know. They kick off football Friday night lights this coming Friday. I don't care either way. <laughs> I'm neutral. I don't care who we in. All right, here we go. From the pastor's desk, Jeremiah 29 and 11 tells us God knows the thoughts he has for us. Thoughts of good and not of evil. Through it all, he isn't preparing us for a partial victory. He wants to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ask or think. God's plans are divinely arranged to bring about the very best for you. He wants to blow our minds with the blessings that is in store for us. So avoid the opportunity to merely make meaning out of mediocrity. As the cliche goes, if life throws you a lemon, Make lemonade. Go forward, season the blessed reality of your potential. Tell your haters if what God is doing for you now is making them sick, your next blessing is going to put them in a coma. Big things are about to happen in your favor. Enjoy your day. Pastor. Let's give God some thanks up in the house. Amen. Praise God. How many? Thank God for his blessings today. Praise God. Amen. I am so excited about what God is doing in the valley. Amen. I'm about like uh, Brother Bruce. I may be not be turning on the inside. Outside, I'm cool as outside the pillow. <laughs> Amen. God is good and all the time. Amen. I rise to for the express purpose of receiving our love gifts. I tied that free off, free will offering to the Lord. Now, if you are here and you didn't get a chance to make it to the revival and you didn't give your allotted amount that we pledged as men and women for the support of the revival, amen, you can still give it this morning. Amen. You can you can note it on your envelope for this far. Amen. Or you can tell somebody that this is what this is for. This is for my revival homecoming offering. God will bless you for your giving. Man, the prayer call started on yesterday morning and there was quite a few people online. Amen. Praise God. So remember on Sunday, Saturday morning. At 7 a.m. That's not too early. Not too early. <laughs> Amen. All right. It's giving time. Get a, get your love gifts. Your tides your people are offering in your hands standing to your feet. Let me let me uh make a clarification on something. When I accepted the invitation for Greater Mount Cavity this afternoon, I was not unaware. I know the announcement had been made, but I wasn't thinking and aware that Deacon Washington has to speak at Galilee. I never, ever, ever tried to book to go somewhere when something else is going on concerning the church. But I made an error 
but it was not intentional. Amen. So uh, got to go back to putting stuff on the board so we can know what's going on. Amen. So if you are going to support Deacon uh, Washington at Galilee, you do so. If you're going to support the pastor, you do so. If you only want to go to one place, choose the one place and just do it as unto the Lord. Amen. God will still bless you no matter what you do, as long as you do it in the right spirit. Amen. Get your love gifts standing to your feet, please. Holding it up before the Lord. And repeat after me, this gift I give in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I do freely give. Now, Lord, bless this my giving in Jesus' name. Father, bless the offering you have to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, choir.
Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. He had kept me from all evil with my mind stayed on Jesus just another day it's just another day day the Lord that the Lord kept me he kept me just another day. Just another day. Why don't you reach up and tell your neighbor that the Lord, that the Lord has kept me, kept me. It's just another day. Just another day. That the Lord, yeah. He had kept me. He kept me. I could have been dead. I could have been dead. Sleeping in my grave. Yeah. But oh, he made. He made. Oh, he made. He made old death step made back. Made old death behave. Made death behave. Yeah. So it's just another day. It's just day. another day. That the Lord, that the Lord, <laughs> kept me. He kept me. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Can I get a witness? I've been tempted. Yeah. Anybody got tempted? Yeah. But the Lord, but the Lord. He kept me. He kept me. Satan came and he tried and he pushed. I've been tempted. Yeah. But the Lord. But the Lord. Thank the Lord he kept me. He kept me. 
From all evil, yeah. With my mind, 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 with my mind. stayed on Jesus, yeah. Just another day, <laughs> just another day. That the Lord, the Lord, uh, kept me, he kept me. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For keeping me. For keeping me. Ah. I'm poor. I'm poor, y'all. And I look back and all the stuff that's going on around us and People are leaving us. Man, you're here today, gone today. Amen. Sick. This is just running rapid. And yet and still, everything that's going on, God kept us. Amen. Now. He's keeping us every day. You walk out your house and you're able to walk back in, you blessed. You hear me? You blessed. Thinking about how somebody just drove by the church and just shot up the church doors. Not too long before that, I just walked out the door. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And I don't know about you, but I am blessed. And I thank God for his blessing. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be up here long. I'm going to say what the Lord laid on my heart. And we had a good time this week. House wasn't packed, but the Holy Ghost was here. And he proved to us what he said in the scripture. For any two or three, All right, now. gathered together in my name, I'll be in the midst. All right, now. Each preacher each night preached. And they preached the central theme every night was on sin amen thank god let me let me go to the scripture somebody hold my mule because i feel good all right now genesis chapter 22 verse number one and i know somebody somebody probably said i remember when he preached this before i do I don't very I don't re-preach very often, but this is a re-preach. Chewed it up, regurgitated it, then to chew it up and spit it out again. This is what God led me. Genesis chapter 22, verse number one. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt. Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, that only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him therefore a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. Verse number three. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, saddled his ass, took two of his young men with him, and Isaac, his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went into the place of which God had told him. Now if you'll jump over to the New Testament, Hebrews chapter 12. I want to read verse 11. He views chapter 12, verse 11. Now, no chastising for the present seemed to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruits of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. 
May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Before you sit down, look at somebody and tell them, don't panic. It's only a test. I've got to, I got to quickly make up. I didn't, I, I missed this, so I'm going to say it. I thank God last Sunday we had, we had guests speaker last Sunday and I want to commend New Bethel because when the preacher got up to preach nobody left out of church everybody stayed and I wish it could be that way every Sunday everybody stayed amen so I commend you for that on last Sunday all of life, all of life is a test. Amen. From the moment you get here to the moment you leave, you are going to be going through tests. Trials, very few people go through tribulations. But we do suffer tests and trials. What makes life precious is the test you take and you pass them with God's approval. Oh, that's some test you're going to pass that God may not approve it, but you get through. One of our local Atlanta pastors, Pastor Jamal Bryant, made a trip to a alternative lifestyle church. And he said, I come to the church today to repent to the church for the black church going against your lifestyle. I come to tell you, Jamal Bryant didn't apologize to me for me because sin is still sin. I got to love you no matter what your lifestyle is. But I cannot repent for saying it's against God's will. Can I break it down? Homosexuality is a sin. Lesbianism is a sin. Adultery is a sin. Fornication is a sin. Lying is a sin. Backbiting is a sin. Y'all ain't hearing me. So therefore, I can't stand here and tell you I'm apologizing for what the word of God said. Sin is a sin. But it's a test. It's a test. You have got to look at alternative lifestyle, no matter what it is, and say, no matter what anybody else do, I'm going to please God. Amen. Amen. I think I just lost a few. But that's okay. I don't, I don't despise, I don't hate, I don't condemn, and I don't criticize anybody. But I have to stand for what's right. 
I'm going to slip through a lot of this because I want to get to. I'm sure that there's nobody here that been in school or in school that loved to take a test. I see my little sister sitting right there shaking that head right quick. No matter how smart you are, you don't like taking no tests because you just don't know for sure how the instructor is going to judge your answer. Driving test. You've been driving for years. Did they stop you and tell you we need to put you through another driving test? You're going to get nervous. Especially if they ask you to parallel park. Now, 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 now. If you like Sister Chisholm, that Parallel park a school bus, parallel park in a car, a truck, is a whiz. But something in your life, when you began to take tests, makes you nervous. Y'all might as well tell the truth. You get ready to go take a blood test. You know there ain't nothing wrong with you. But you get nervous first because you don't want to be stuck. And then you get nervous because you don't know what they're going to find. A test. A test. I stood here Friday night and I, I gave my testimony of my healing. Look and see, I got a call from the urologist. I got to go take another biopsy, a test. I know I'm healed. I know God healed me, but I don't like tests. I don't want them running no tube up in me and pitching all parts of my body. Test. Come on. I remember the anxiety that I used to get in school. <clears throat> I laughed and joked and kidded with the guys, but I had gotten my lesson before test time. But still, I got nervous. I had a young man that sat in his class with me, and he said, let me see your paper. So I slid over just a little bit, coach, so he could get my answers. Didn't know he was going to copy my name and everything. So both of us flunked. Even though I had the right answers, I let him copy and we both Flunked the test. You cannot copy somebody else and pass the test. What God has for you. Now let me let me let me let me go to our text. Here is Abraham. What this what got me? Many times I've read this scripture. Many times I preached this message. This time, something got me. God tells Abraham, take his son, his only promised son, to the mountain and sacrifice him. I said, God, now, why, why did you not tell him to take the other one? He wasn't promised. Ishmael was gotten out of God's, out of, outside of God's will. Y'all ain't talking to me. So God, if you want to take somebody, take the one you didn't give me. 
Y'all know how we is. God, you're going to get somebody, get the person I don't care nothing about. God, if you're going to whip somebody, whip my enemy. I said, God, why you didn't tell him take the son by the bun woman? He had no significance to the promise. But everything God says, everything God do, there is something behind it. When you wake up in the morning and you got that sneaky feeling in you, something good is about to happen, God trying to get your attention. So God said, take your son of the promise and go to the mountain. And I'm not even going to tell you which mountain to go to. Just go to one of the mountains. Why is it we always want to know everything God knows? Before we make a move, we want God to tell us everything in advance. But I'm here to tell you there's something God wants you to do. He ain't telling you everything in his mind. He just wants you to move by faith. Here he is now. Gathered up his son. The young men to go up him. Saddle up the mule. That sound better. To say the mule. Saddle up the mule. Got the wood. Started to the mountain. With the intent of doing what God had told him to do. Point number one. You got to be willing to be obedient to God. Many times we go through tests and we are not willing to be obedient. Come on, let's, let's, let's put it on an everyday basis again. When uh, uh, Sister Angela, you taught school, right? You gave you gave the students instructions, and you told them in advance what day you're gonna have a test. Am I right? Tell me when I'm wrong. Correct me when I'm wrong. When you told them we're gonna have a test, you gave them the instructions and the material to study for the test. Am I right? But instead of studying the up to the test, everybody wanna cram. Y'all the night before or early that morning and try to spam everything in at one time. We don't want God to direct us and guide us and lead us. We want God to just push it in all at one time. No, 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 no. You got to be obedient. What did Paul tell Timothy? Study. To show that self approved workman of God need not be ashamed. Rightly divide in the word of truth. So, Abraham's get ready to make his pathway up the mountain. And as he's going, I'm feeling in my spirit, he's excited to make a sacrifice. He's willing to do what God has told him to do. He's willing to go where God told him to go. We're willing to sing. We're willing to pray. We're willing to come to church. But how many are willing to live right? That's a huge difference, folks. And living right and coming to church. I ain't getting no amen this morning, but I'm going to stay right here. That's a huge different amen. And treating people right and just shaking their hand when you see them on Sunday. You know, you know what I was saying? I ain't got to worry about flowing children. I won't see them no more the next Sunday. I ain't got to worry about Daniel Washington. Hey Amen. I see him when I see him. If I don't see him, it ain't, gonna, ain't no skin off my nose. Oh, you got to love people 
24-7. No matter what they say or what they do, God judges you for what you do, not what they do. Oh, I, I, I stay right here for just one second. Amen. God was looking at Abraham for the message he gave him, not for nobody else. Look at, look at Adam and Eve in the garden. God didn't give Eve no instruction. God gave the instruction to Adam. Eve wasn't even there. But Adam allowed the woman. He don't need no, he don't need him complaining. Because he could have said when she offered him the fruit, he could have said, baby, we can't do that. But no, he grabbed it anyhow. He could have repealed because he could have said, no, we're not going to break God's will. But he did it. And then when God came down, what the first thing came out of his mouth? That woman. That woman you gave me. But God made man the head. Come on. And if he's going to be the head, why did he let the woman lead him down the path of unrighteousness? Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Yeah. Obedience. Obedience, disobedience started right there in the garden. It started right there. And right there, when, God, when Adam said, the woman you gave me. And then the woman said, a snake did it. The snake said, if you hadn't thrown me out of heaven, I wouldn't have did it. But it all started with disobedience. Back it up. Satan in heaven. Lucifer, the son of the morning. The sun couldn't shine until Lucifer stepped on the scene and began to sing the songs of Zion to glorify God, but he got lifted up. He said, I will ascend my throne above the throne of the Most High, and he got kicked out. God said, woe into the inhabitants of the earth, for the accuser of the brethren had been cast down. And he found weakness in the woman. Men, don't get happy. Don't get so happy because he found weakness in the woman. Her weakness brought you down. Uh-oh. Brother, y'all ought to say amen. You ought to say amen. There's something about a woman that make you gravel. And I'll leave it at that. After, after, after God told him. Whew, Lord, have mercy. All right, Brother Steve, I see you smiling. After he got up in the mountain. Come on, somebody. After he made the journey, he had went through what God had told him to do. Now he's in the mountain. I can hear. The son said, Daddy, we come up here for sacrifice. I, I, I see the wood. I, I see the knife. But Daddy, where's the sacrifice? Abraham knew something about a test. He knew not to panic. He knew if God said it, he was going to be able to do it. Many times, point two, we not only don't be obedient, we're not patient. We can't wait. But this whole world is set up on waiting. Now you got to hurry up and wait. You wait in the doctor's office. They tell you get there 15 minutes early and two hours later, they call you. You go to the grocery store. 
Now you got to scan your own food. Come on. You got to scan your own food. You got to wait to pay for what you buy. Y'all ain't saying that. Get caught in traffic. You got to wait to get home. Husband, you got to wait if you don't know how to cook. On your wife to cook. If, if she cooks. Now she lied and say, you know what, you know what McDonald's at? Watch out, sister, uh, sister Pat. You got to learn, you got to learn, you got to learn to have patience. But the Bible said in Isaiah, they that wait on shall do what? So you got to learn how to be patient, obey his will, and be patient and wait on him. So Abraham, and I've been through in about 10 minutes, Abraham gets in the mountain, takes the wood off the mule, builds him a fire. The young men with him standing around waiting for the sacrifice. The son wondering, Daddy, where's the sacrifice? Abraham saying, the Lord will provide. Himself a sacrifice. Ah, I hear God speaking now when we don't know what to do. Don't panic. It's only a test. When we get down to the last dime, don't panic. It's only a test. When the doctor said, I've done all I can do. Don't panic. It's only a test. So Abraham builds the fire, reaches to get the son, the son of the promise. He didn't take the son from the bond woman. He took the son of the promise. Strapped him on the altar. You have to learn when you're in a test. Put your all on the altar of sacrifice and praise. There comes the time in your life you got to give God the best you got. Man, when the body is weak, give God the best you got. I heard the choir singing, uh, my hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. So when you are in a test, give God your hallelujah and give God your praise. Amen. When it seems like the bottom has fallen out, give God your hallelujah and go ahead and thank him in advance. For he is able to do anything but fail. Amen. Abraham took Isaac and put him on the altar, signifying to me whatever God has told you, he blessed you with that. Put it on the altar. If he bless you with a gift to sing, put your gift of singing on the altar. If he bless you, amen, with a gift to give, put it on the altar. Why are you telling me to put my gift on the altar? For what God had given me, he want me to give it back to him that he might Perfect it. Yes, here he is now, putting his son down on the altar. Amen. Even though I feel in my spirit, 
Isaac had questioned uh, the whole maneuver. Uh, he never said another word. Uh, but as Abraham uh, got ready uh, to sacrifice his son, uh, God showed him uh, a ram uh, in the thicket. Uh, yes, uh, when you get down uh, to the bottom of the bottom uh, of your chest, uh, amen, uh, when you uh, have given God uh, the best you have, uh, look in the thicket. Uh, amen. When you uh, have prayed uh, and it seemed like uh, your prayer has not been answered, uh, do like David said, uh, I will uh, lift up mine eyes uh, unto the hill uh, from when coming uh, my help. Uh, amen. Instead uh, of looking at uh, your circumstances, uh, look in the thicket. Uh, instead uh, of looking at uh, what you don't have, uh, look in the thicket. Uh, amen. Uh, for God uh, supplied him uh, a ram uh, in the bush. Uh, Y'all ain't hearing me. I don't know how long uh, that ram had been there. Uh, I don't know uh, if he got lost uh, and rambled up the mountain uh, and been caught there for a long time. Uh, and I don't know uh, if God uh, just put him there uh, by the work of a miracle. Uh, but it does not matter uh, how he got there. Uh, he got there uh, in the nick of time. Uh, it doesn't matter what you need from God. Just give God thanks and give God praise and tell God through it all, I'm going to learn to trust in Jesus. Through it all, I'm going to learn to trust in God. Yeah, no matter how hard the test is, I'm going to sit here and scratch my head uh, and figure it out uh, one way or another. Uh, God will uh, supply uh, all of his needs uh, according uh, to his riches in glory. Uh, you see, when I was in school uh, and I would take a test, uh, I never went by uh, the first thought uh, that came to my mind. Uh, and I used to love uh, multiple choice. Uh, those kind of tests because uh, it gave me three uh, or four uh, answers uh, to choose from. Uh, it may be A, it may be B, it may be C, uh, or could be D. Uh, and sometimes D said, uh, none of these. Uh, so when uh, the enemy comes in uh, like a flood uh, and the enemy tell me, a, uh, cuss them out. Uh, B, uh, walk away from them. C, uh, hold your peace. Uh, or D, uh, none of these. Uh, my answer uh, to the test uh, would be C. Uh, amen. Hold my peace uh, and let the Lord uh, fight my battle. Uh, sometime, uh, amen, the test uh, that I had to take. Uh, were true or false. Uh, amen. I had to choose uh, whether the answer was true uh, or was it false. Satan uh, will put you in a test, uh, and the test will be, uh, amen, are you real, uh, or are you just faking it? Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, so my answer, uh, A, uh, is true, uh, B, uh, or B, false. Uh, so when it come down, uh, are you just faking it? Uh, my answer uh, will be B, uh, false, uh, I am uh, living for the Lord uh, and no matter how hard uh, my test is uh, I'm going to sit here uh, and I'm going to figure it out uh, and sometimes uh, the test is long. Uh, anybody ever had uh, to take a long test? Uh, and the teacher told you, uh, you got 30 minutes. Uh, and that 30 minutes, uh, she was walking around uh, taking up the test. Uh, and here you is now. Uh, you got about three more answers. Uh, and she coming out for your test. Uh, so you had to make up your mind. Uh, if I don't put nothing 
I fell, I miss it. If I guess at it, uh, I might miss it. Uh, so let me just see, uh, and I'm on check. Uh, and just take your eyes, close your eyes, and just pick an answer. Here's what you got to do uh, when it seems like uh, you don't know what the answer is. Uh, fall down on your knees uh, and tell God, uh, I'm yours, Lord. Uh, try me now and see, uh, see if I can be uh, completely yours. Uh, it's only a test. Uh, tell your neighbor, uh, don't panic. Uh, it's only a test. Uh, don't get stuck. Uh, it's only a test. Uh, don't run. Uh, it's only a test. Uh, and tests come uh, to prove uh, your loyalty uh, with the Lord. Uh, tests come uh, to prove uh, your faithfulness uh, to the Lord. Uh, Tests come uh, to prove uh, your standing uh, with the Lord. Uh, I might fail today, uh, but you got to give me another chance. Uh, and I'm so glad uh, the God I served, uh, he's not a second chance God. Uh, he's another chance God. Uh, every time I fail a test, uh, he give me another chance uh, to take that test uh, over again. Uh, I fail uh, in my love. But God hey, gave me another chance. I fell in my faith. But God hey, gave me another chance. I fell in my faithfulness. But God hey, gave me another chance. I fell in my peace. But God gave me another chance. I fell in my joy. But God gave me another chance. I'm 30 minutes past. I'm eight minutes past where I wanted to go. I can't help it. God's good. Tell somebody, don't panic, don't panic. Don't panic. It's only a test. Whisper to somebody. Shh. Weeping may endure, but for a night, joy coming in the morning. Shh. 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 Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. Shh, shh. I got one more to tell you. Just one more, but Job, come here. Let me whisper it. Job told me to tell you, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You believe that? It's only a test. Shh. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Everybody's standing. <laughs> I'm going to work until. My day is done. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to work till the setting. I'll cease. I'll cease from sorrow. There will be no more. No more tomorrow. I'm going to work. Until. Oh yes I am. 
I'm going to work until until Monday. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to work till the setting of the sun. I see some sorrow. There will be no more. Ooh, oh, yeah. I'm going to work until. Yes, yeah. I'm going to pray until my day is done. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to pray This, we're receiving the offering for our sister church that we're going through this afternoon. I see some sorrow. There will be no more. Hey, I'm going to pray until my day is on. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to work until my day. My day is done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to work. Work until Monday. Mm -hmm. I'll cease from sorrow. There will be no more. There will be no more tomorrow. Hey. I'm going to work until Now, this is me, y'all. This is me. This is me. I'm going to preach until my day is done. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to preach till the setting of the sun I'll cease from sorrow there will be no more hey yes yeah, yeah I'm going to work until One time, one more time, and I want you to join hand with somebody, and I want you to mean it when you say it. I want you to mean it. I'm going into work until my day is done. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to work until the setting. Oh, Son, I see some sorrow. There will be no more. I'm going to work until until Monday. 
is done. Father, we ask you to bless this offering that's been received. Let it be used for the edifying of the body in Christ's name. We pray. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Don't panic. It's only a test. Amen. So thank you for your patience this morning. Thank you for coming and being a part of what God's doing to all our online listeners. We love you and we appreciate you. We thank God for you. Amen. We're going to, somebody got to tell me how to get there because I don't know how to get back to his church. Somebody, I can, I can, I can look it up. I'll look it up. Maybe it's Google will tell me where it's at. Google will find me there. Google? All right. All right. Now, those of you that can go, go. Wherever you go, just go and do it from your heart. Whether you go and support Deacon Washington, or whether you go and support Pastor Houston, or whether you go home. Amen. Ain't nobody going to be mad at you. Anybody, you do what you got to do. Amen. All right? All right. We thank God for all of you. Thank God for my, my brother here. I don't, I'm, to the best of my knowledge, first time I ever saw him. That's y'all friend. That's everybody friend. So that means he's my friend too. How you doing, friend? <laughs> Amen. And that's your grandson. Amen. The first time I, I thought, I, okay, good to see you. Come back. Yeah. Amen. What's that old comedy say? Green Acres is the place you ought to be. Y'all come back here. Collar Valley. In the place you ought to be. Come back here. <laughs> All right, stand into your feet. Amen. Father, we thank you for the service today. We ask you to look upon those that are exercising or experiencing some hardships in their life right now. It's only a test. Give them intestinal fortitude to get through, knowing that on the other side, after this, there's a blessing in store. Now God dismiss us in peace. Bring us back in love. This rest in Jesus' name. Amen.